Today's bonus round is all about media on gaming consoles and the evolving cable TV experience. I'm joined by host of the Pointless Podcast, Kevin Pereira, Abby Happy from Respawn Entertainment, and producer of Game Theory, Matthew Patrick. Hey guys, welcome back to the bonus round here on GT. I'm Jeff Keeley with Kevin, Abby, and Matt talking about all things video games. And this week, we are talking more about consoles, the idea of streaming media. And I think 2015 is going to be a year all about media changing and how you consume it. And we've seen a lot of news and announcements about you know cable uh, packages being unbundled. I mean, HBO Go, you're going to be able to get without a cable subscription in 2015. Just announced at CES this new uh, Sling uh, box or the Sling system that's going to have ESPN unbundled, mm -hmm. which are one of the most expensive networks on your cable bill. Yeah. I think cable companies pay like 2 or $3 a month to ESPN just to get that. So as cable sort of becomes disintermediated, we all probably right word, now, yeah. do we all yeah. have cable? That's yeah, right. I'm literally oh, trying yeah. to break down that word, yeah. that means, but it sounds fancy, and I lo I'm all for disintermediation. Dis disintermediation. Yes. That's what this episode is called. Um, disintermediation. That, that is not going to get us into <laughs> <a new laughs> that. That, that is not SEO right. friendly, right, right there. Chef. New word. As cable gets screwed. Oh, um, okay. That's, okay. That's, okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Now I'm listening. Click, click, click. So, do do you guys all have cable still? I moved in August, and I signed up for just because it's just such a habit. Right. And I haven't turned on my television and watched cable since I moved. And then I called AT&T to try to get the HBO bundle, and they just told me that I have a contract and I can go myself. So, wow. um, mm -hmm. yeah, that was good. Uh, they're horrible. They're a horrible company. Um, <laughs> but this is the, not sorry. sponsoring. No, but, but, but that is, I think, the sentiment that most people have yeah, about right. all of their cable I feel providers. like I got totally yeah. screwed. Which and now I have Amazon. 100%. I have Amazon Prime. Right. And because Transparent sold me on that because yeah. that's a great yeah. show. I use Mozart HBO the Jungle, Go, also which great, I love. By the way. Oh, I haven't yeah, seen yeah. that yet. Really yeah. good, yeah. But I, I go to everything else. I, the way I, I said, like, I kind of held off on doing it for a while. And now I just have no reason to watch anything that I used to watch on cable. I yeah. don't even turn it on anymore. No, I'm saying, like, I have a TiVo attached to my TV, and it's like I rarely mm -hmm. record shows on TiVo anymore. It's just like you're going to see, if there's something cool that happens on a show, it's like you're going to see it on YouTube or see mm -hmm. the clip or something like that. Like, right. late, late night TV, same thing for me now. It's right. like, yeah. used to be like, oh, I should record all the shows, see what happens. And now it's like if something cool happens on Fallon, you're yeah. just going to see I'll the clip. I'll see it on Reddit, yep. exactly. and yeah, I'll just right. watch the clip It's on and my go, Facebook okay. feed, it's yeah. on, exactly. you know, yeah. Twitter. Yeah. So you it's see the, the guests that are on these late night shows, you don't even pay attention to it. Any show that is, you know... On cable, you can get yeah. it, you know, yeah. via and you get the right highlight reel. You don't even yeah. have to watch the rest of the show, which maybe wasn't that good. It's right. great, yeah. Exactly. So, yeah, Matt, you don't have cable. You're no, no. Not. Actually, I just got live TV for the first time because I've always lived in like these dead zones of digital right. reception, and so finally, I, I'm in a place where no I get rabbit ears. Free TV. He lived yeah. in underground tunnels. I, I tried. I, I, I do. I do. People I know that it was just, basically fall so You watch my, commercials. It's it's my bunker. In your vault, exactly. Yeah, my underground bunker, theorist bunker there. But uh, I got live TV for the first time, like, earlier this week. I How felt, did it feel? I felt dirty <laughs> watching it. Like, like, I turn it on, and I'm like, oh, this feels icky. I'm going right. back to, you know, digital So how did you get live TV? How did I get did live? Did you get, you get cable? Uh, no, no. Yeah. I, have a, I have an antenna, and I got a, a new internet service, which okay. came bundled with free TV. Oh, wow. Just, just basic TV channels. Okay. Th What's thank on that anymore? Uh, I, I don't watch Name news. news. Lots of <laughs> old the, white the middle, people. Mostly. The show called The, <laughs> the five o'clock ABC News. Yeah. Exactly. I've seen that on an airplane. Right, right. Yeah. I honestly, I don't know, and I haven't turned it on since. I just watched it for the novelty of it. Right. But it's it's one of those things that like it it doesn't match the way that I engage with media anymore. Right. right. I want something that's available to me anytime right. that I need it to be, and TV just isn't that. Whereas internet at this point, you know, I, I plug it in and it streams automatically, or right. you know, I let it buffer for a second and, and I have a great experience. No, the I have to touch my fingers. The quality's there, right? I oh mean, yeah, you watch absolutely. HBO or Netflix, you don't think about how it's streaming. It's like it's just as good as you would get any other right. way. I mean, same thing yeah. for me, even with like Blu-rays. It's like I can't. I don't think I've ever bought a Blu-ray in recent memory. It's like you're always getting stuff streaming, right? Mm -hmm. It's like yeah. you don't even think about that. Right. The um, only reason to have live TV if you live in LA is car chases. That's that's true. Yeah. That's true. Right. Or you could just look out your even, window. Even then, there. Yeah. 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 That happened pretty that's much the, best, the other that night. Was yeah. First weekend in LA, Koreatown. I saw it drive by my house. I was like, oh, this is great. Live car chase. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's exciting. Yeah. Uh, I the amount of times I have sat down at my Xbox and told it to go to TV. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it happens every now and then when I want background noise. 
But when there's uh, truly, but when there's something, but there's I, live sports. I mean, there are things that people will I don't, watch. I'm not a huge uh, sports, sportsman. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like the athletic games. I'm right. not a big guy. I just I took the third guy. in I my, I, and I'm going to try to not say Final Fantasy football. <laughs> <laughs> Although I would watch the hell out of that. Yeah. I just took third in my <laughs> league, and I didn't watch football game exactly. all season. So See, you know. But the amount of times I've sat down and when I want to watch something, I go to Amazon, I go to Netflix, or I go to Twitch. Right. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. I watched your uh, game awards. Yeah. I watched that on Twitch. The, like, I've spent more time watching, you know, fifteen-year-old uh, you know, kids do things that I don't understand, yeah. versus going to the prime time anytime. Not, That's a really relax. weird thing to say. I, n- yeah. I did not spend tokens on it. <laughs> I did not spend any tokens. Uh, but the, I have, like, I have Dish, and I and I, I like it. I have the prime time anytime where it grabs all of the networks. I watch maybe two of yeah. the twenty shows that it grabs for me on mm-hmm. any given night, and I just clearly. And you're probably scrubbing through those anyway. Right? Absolutely, like, I'm yeah. skipping commercials, and so just. Yeah. That clearly, like cable made sense before the internet, and yeah. now the internet is just such a more effective distribution system. And yeah. mm-hmm. these boxes, you know, we hearkened to it in our last, the last segment that we did. But th- these consoles, we know the gaming's going to be there. They're going to do that. They figured that out. It's about what more can you do now. And so when Sony announces their streaming TV mm-hmm. service on there, yeah. Or Dish is going to mm-hmm. offer it as an app on the Xbox One because they know that they can't keep up with the technology and the cable box and everything else. Right. Like, that's clearly the future. Mm-hmm. And yeah. to spin up a network in the traditional sense makes makes no sense mm-hmm. whatsoever right. in this day and age. But yep. if you can program a gem, you suddenly have a cable network right. and it can be in all those homes. Here's my yeah. concern, though. Are we becoming too fragmented? Because, you know, at this point, Game of Thrones, oh, here's HBO Go. Oh, you know, here I, everyone has their Netflix, so you got to have your Netflix. Oh, but, you know, I also need this other show, so I gotta subscribe to this other service, Mm -hmm. Amazon Prime, you know. I wanna watch season six of Community, so I gotta get another service for that. My concern at this point is like, I have to subscribe to so many different things to watch that one show that I watch on each of those services. It's it seems to me like an unsustainable model. You know, well, as as it's going to have to be unified at some point. Oh, and absolutely. That's why you said it, it may, maybe it will just be a la carte. Like you subscribe to you know Twitch channels. Maybe you're just going to subscribe to shows. And it's like, hey, right. I like this show. It's one ninety nine. You know, a month or something like that. Yeah. Or it's like, will it be? You know, you're not even buying networks. You're buying shows. You're so buying like, I like the Daily Show. Content. It's yeah. like, let me grab that. Yeah. And it's sort of like, is that going to be the new model? Will it be ad supported? Will it be just subscriptions? But yeah, I agree with you. It's it's confusing now. Yeah. And what you want to be able to do is say or type into your Xbox, like, I want to see Breaking Bad. And just it, right. it pops up. Or it's like, right. here's the three different ways to access I use that site that tells you where things are streaming all the time. Yeah. Can I stream so, it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> just, I know? think the... the the a la carte approach is going to get more expensive, but mm-hmm. I still think it will be cheaper than cable ultimately. Because yeah. even if you subscribe to 10 mm-hmm. services at five bucks a month, you're still probably cheaper than your cable well, and bill. And channels and are getting have it on to, demand. Right, and you can also uh, unsubscribe. And that's what's going to be right. fascinating when yeah. channels have to earn. Right, I'm not locked into two years because I didn't right. buy your cable box. But I think right. the real. You cancel my show? Goodbye. The real pain yeah. point that these consoles can fix, that an Apple can fix, that Google will hopefully try to fix. Mm-hmm is that everybody is walling their garden. Meaning that if yeah. you want a couple oh, yeah. shows on Netflix, you gotta get Netflix and you have to go to their gym. And so yeah. you've got 12 different media cues, mm-hmm. you've got one show on one network, another show on another gym, another yep. show yep. on YouTube or what. Yep. And so you have to manage 15 different apps, 15 different user experiences, yep. 15 different everythings. And yep. For early adopters, that makes total sense. But as audiences grow older or the older audience mm-hmm. comes into these boxes, it's gonna be very confusing as to what content lives where. And someone has to unify that all or make yeah. the global search engine or the Apple Media Pass where yeah. it is forty nine ninety nine a month but you have everything and it's yep. all under there, Jim. That it's a broken user experience right now that yeah. I think people are willing to suffer through because mm-hmm. there's only five yeah. or six of them. Yeah. But when it hits fifteen or twenty, it's gonna be really nasty. Well, I think that's where you're gonna get to like Apple, like you know, look at like what Spotify's done for music and it's like most of the stuff is on there. And if you right. can get some mm-hmm. kind of pass mm-hmm. where it's like you're gonna pay it's at fifty bucks a month and Apple behind the scenes will sort of pay out the partners or something mm-hmm. like that mm-hmm. for streaming, that's where it's gonna get, you know, really Really, really exciting. Yeah. So we'll see. But do we think is, are game consoles going to be that gateway? I mean, you know, you can do this stuff on your phone. You can do it on your tablet. Mm-hmm. You can do it on your Apple TV. Do you need a game console for that? Not really, but it's no. like it's it, so funny because I I love the pass through on the Xbox One, mm-hmm. and I was like the only vocal supporter of that when it yeah. came out. I was like because I still watched uh, watched sure. a yeah. lot of TV. Yeah. That was a year ago, and now let's cl- look at what Sony's doing. You yeah. don't need the pass through. Mm-hmm. We'll just stream it to you. Right. Um, where they do excel is that it's clear that you can get all of this media on your cell phone. You can get on a low cost Chrome 
yep. stick, yeah, the, the, you know, the, whatever, you know, exactly. Chromecast, the Chromecast, yeah. Yeah. or on your TV. It'll just, or on right, your TV as a built-in yeah. app. So it's clear that that's going to be delivered anywhere. Where yeah. the game consoles can really stand out is that they still do have a lot of reserve horsepower under the engine to add an experience on top of that. Exactly. Um, you know, XES, yeah. the Xbox Studios that was yeah. hoping to take advantage of a lot of that. Right peaked a little too soon, they won't have the chance, but someone will come up with the companion that streams yeah. the Netflix show and gives you a layer of something on top well, of that's it, or like, the fantasy you know, football app, or Twitch whatever that chat. is. I mean, that's, you know, even during the awards, like, yeah. we're watching that, it's like you can't even control it. I mean, it's just it's so much going on. But yeah, right. years ago, when we had the awards on Xbox Live, we did really cool, like, live user polls, affected the show, and all this stuff, mm-hmm. and it was ahead of its time. Mm-hmm. And that's all gone now, and as you said, that's the thing that I think these game consoles can do, is sort of really bring in all that interactivity, because at the end of the day, you're sitting there with a controller. And you can interact with the audience and be a part of it, and none of them are doing that right now. But right. to counter that's that, can you, can't you just do that with a, a larger kind of keyboard yes. remote control? You totally could, right. Yeah. And if you, your phone is, you know, your guy, right? Because right? you I think that's what you're ultimately going to do is you're going to have your iPhone and you're going to be picking on that right. and then just throwing things to your TV or whatever to watch mm-hmm. it, right? Because that's going to be your new remote control. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I think interactivity yeah. will be part of it. I guess probably what Kevin's saying mm-hmm. is that those systems, at least, you're used to interacting with yeah. them. They have mm-hmm. the horsepower and the graphics chips to be right. able to do that mm-hmm. stuff. But, yeah, no one's doing it right now. Right. And that's the big opportunity, I guess. And I think that, you know, the we forget that the companies that power these consoles also have media divisions. Right. Again, Microsoft's got a little slighted, but Sony has a giant one. Yes. Uh, you know, Nintendo may hop on that bandwagon, who knows? But they have giant media divisions. So when mm-hmm. we talk about the walled gardens of content, they will have to get into the original content game in a more uh, substantial way. Right. And so it might not be that they're the only game or the best game in town to get your TV, but they will be the exclusive game to get all the media about the properties that are exclusive to that. The Titanfall mm-hmm. miniseries that I right. was talking about during the break. That's <laughs> going to be a Microsoft exclusive for the first year. Exactly. But you know that you have to get the Xbox to watch it. And I'll be starring in it too, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Again, this is every time there's like a new a new thing. No, it's great. It just does my job for me for like the next year. <laughs> so, like, I, you know. Are you confirmed for Titanfall 2, Abby? Um, I don't know what Titanfall 2 is. I've never heard of this game. Is this a... Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, I mean... She's good. She's good. She's fantastic. She's really good. We're trying to get the views up. And Abby, <laughs> Abby is just No, you know funny. what? I think that we are Titanfall having... Uh, <laughs> where it's really nice to have a, a year, uh, you know, like where you're just not crazy all the time and flying around the world right. and everybody's not, you know, just working insane hours and, and I mean, we're hard at work, but it's, it's really nice to be out of the spotlight for a little bit. Right. But am I am I crazy though? Uh, well, I know I yes. Okay, sorry. That's my own question. Yes. Yeah. Am I am I out of line to think that these brands, the Sony's and the Microsofts and the Nintendo's of the world, putting some of their war chests aside to make original content would right. be a smart play? I mean, I know yeah, Microsoft I think... put hundreds of millions of dollars at it right away at a time where they need to focus on right. selling games. Mm-hmm. Sure. That was a misstep. But I don't think that the notion of creating original content for a captive audience, right. uh, clearly a very targeted audience, yeah. I don't think that that was the right. Because the challenge... games come with an audience that wants to see those universes built out and, right. and, and is really interested in, you know, not just like, you know, the specific how fun is this game to play, but like what's the lore and what's, you know, the backstory and they mm-hmm. come to like these characters and stuff. So, yeah, yeah, I, no, just, I just think that stuff can get, there. it can get expensive and yeah. it's like, you know, yes, they have big mm-hmm. install yes, bases, yeah. but it's like, you know, it's not as big as, you know, the internet, right? Yeah. So it's like you're looking at, you sure. know, Xbox One, it's like it's cool to do an interactive series for that. Mm-hmm. You're doing it for less mm-hmm. than 10 million potential people. And you look at that, uh, yep. the Halo, uh, the, the series that they did mm-hmm. this fall. Right. I, I didn't mm-hmm. wa- I'm watching it, but it sort of got not a great reaction mm-hmm. from sure. people, I thought. And, and it's like that's yeah. tens of millions of dollars. Yeah. It's like expensive, that. but it's also your intellectual property. I mean, mm-hmm. we own Titanfall. Right. And we know that if we were going to do something that was like a movie or a mini series or webisodes or anything mm-hmm. like that, that we would want it to be something that really reflects our brand and is really quality. And that's a lot of money and time to sink into something where you know you don't necessarily know the result. And so it takes mm-hmm. a lot of time to work on that kind of stuff and come to an agreement of saying like, yeah, this is what we want to do because you don't want to do something that's ultimately going to damage your brand or you know, be something that people don't enjoy, mm-hmm. especially when your main job is first and foremost making games. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, to your point, you know, if you spend $500,000 on a 10 episode miniseries, that's what, at most 10 hours worth of content on that box. You plow through that in an afternoon or two days yeah, or a Saturday. week. And yeah, that, that's a Saturday's worth of watching. Mm-hmm. What are you gonna do to program content for that that individual watching that, you know, content on that console for the next year, for the next two yeah, years? You're, sure. you're, I mean, Netflix is actually experiencing kind of that problem now, right? Where they're paying so much to get other people's content that now they have to produce 
the orange is the new black and the house right. of cards, stuff that they actually own in house, while also having the supporting content that they're licensing out. But we know they've done, they've run the numbers on that, and they know that they right. can spend three million dollars on a house of cards episode as long right. as it they, they can spend x as long as it bring in, brings in y exactly. subscriptions right. and these consoles they're that. over the top they're over the right. top of the netflix app they've got mm -hmm. your credit card they made what it they very easy to press a button yeah. mm -hmm. so if sony had their game of thrones that might be a huge boom right. to the network get people going to the store going to those apps and thinking of them more as a as a media console uh, in addition to being the game, right? Console. I think the challenge though is like, you know, can they build that Game of Thrones? Do they have the right people there to do it? It's really right. risky. There are a right. lot yeah. of shows that you can spend Absolutely. twenty million on. And For it's every a Game of Thrones, sure. there's twenty <laughs> Attack of the Shows. shows. I get it. Like, it's, <laughs> it's a real expensive risk to make bad TV, but I think it's one that they're going to have to do if they want to remain relevant in the media landscape yeah. going right. forward. Because mm -hmm. again, I can get everything else through my cell phone right now, and I can airplay it or dock it, whatever. But they might say, "Hey, games is what we're like. Well, that's what we're doing. That's unique. We're going to invest." more money in sure. game console like, no <laughs> yeah. come on i don't Since know maybe those i think that's part of what xbox said it's like hey we know how to make pretty good games Sure. We don't know how to make pretty good TV. Is that what they said in the release? <laughs> like, <laughs> guys, we can have uh, Microsoft. We make pretty, we good, make good, pretty good games. It's uh, medi We excel at mediocrity. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good doesn't mean mediocre. Pretty good is solid. <laughs> okay. Good games last year, right? Yeah. I, I enjoyed, like, look, I thought there were too few of them right. that were dedicated. I ended up watching more media on the consoles than I did play games for sure. But I had a great time with Titanfall. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed the hell out of the 10 minutes of gameplay that Destiny had that I played for 60 hours. <laughs> Look, I want to love it, but it was like, you, it, it, I played a lot of hours of it, and then I spent money on the DLC, and I right. Bungie owes me a hug, and an apology letter, a handwritten one, because that was a huge misstep, but I know that's a whole other thing. Are you ready but, for DLC too? Can we what, no, I bought the pass, so I'm going to get it, and I'm going to angrily delete it. I'm going to burn my Xbox, just that portion of the hard drive. Yeah, no one's like, can you get season pass refunds? That's, locked in. Well, that's a whole Great other question, thing. Right? Is that like the, the the consumer rights on the retail side of things? Pretty right. good. You can bring a game back if unopened yeah. and blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. Digital right. side of things, you oh, are that's it. screwed. Because I was thinking about that because you know I remember like Bioshock Infinite like bought the season pass for that, and it's right. like it took so long to come out, mm -hmm. and it's like they are obligated to eventually deliver it for you. Right. But at some what point do people lose interest in this stuff right. or say this sure. is what I want? You also have no guarantee right. on what it is. Right. So yeah, right, yeah. the yeah. fact that I spent a third of the price on the game of Destiny to mm -hmm. get right. basically one new raid and a cool hat right. <laughs> is really frustrating and I'm sorry that's a whole other thing but anyway coming in a future segment alright oh, we'll be back next week with more right here in the bonus round mm -hmm.